What is up YouTube? Jared Spalding here and today I'm talking about when I, I personally believe the death of the US dollar is going to occur. It's just going to be a short video. It's kind of late right now, you know, not too late, but you know, I mean, sorry for not getting this up earlier, but you know, here it is. So I'm talking about, like I said, when I think the death of the US dollar is going to occur. So. Surprisingly, our dollar has been getting stronger recently, uh, at least a little bit. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not where it should be or even where it used to be, but it is starting to get better and with a lot of um, things going on, such as the legalization of marijuana, which bring in tax dollars, our economy is starting to turn around, but that's not going to be able to save us at all. I mean, it would require, you know, trillions of dollars just to pull us out of debt, you know, so when do I personally think the death of the U.S. dollar is going to occur? Now, that is really an interesting thing to, you know, ask about because I really don't know exactly if it's ever going to occur or at least occur in my lifetime. I do think there is a good chance, so, you know, I'm definitely, that's why I invest in precious metals and everything. You know, because I do think that there is a good chance of that happening. But when, now, if it if there is going to be a dollar collapse, it's probably going to be soon. Because just how bad off our country is right now, you know, it would be like the perfect timing. Let's say we have a really terrible president after Obama, who wasn't a great president himself. Now, if we have a really good president, then maybe our dollar won't fall at all. Maybe it will become stronger like it used to be, you know, maybe even stronger than it used to be. I mean, we, I really don't know, but I do think that it is likely to occur in the next five to ten years if there is going to be one. Now, how can you prepare for this? Well, that's really up to you, but I personally recommend buy precious metals because those are going to be the only physical thing left if currency does fail, which is very likely in these uncertain times. So, yes, definitely a lot of preparation that would need to go into it, but just invest in precious metals, you know, because it it is really um going to be a lot of um preparation, but precious metals, like I said, they're just your best bet. So that is probably the best way to prepare. How are some other ways you can prepare? Well, there's going to be a lot of a lot of bad uh, people going around. You know, law system might completely fall. Our country might have its own dark ages. You know, I mean, it's a fairly new country, not very well established, only a couple hundred years old. So there is chan a chance of that happening. You know, we might have our own middle ages here. If the dollar does fall, trade will certainly be weakened because money will have no value, but physical metals probably will. I can guarantee you they will. And I can also guarantee that you're going to want to prepare yourself in the form of weapons and food, survival instincts. Maybe if um, you're really worried, take some kind of survival courses, you know, uh, or if you're not quite as sure, just get some food that can last a while, you know, that doesn't expire for a long time, have like a special area where you keep it, don't eat the food, you know what I mean? If, um, and if nothing happens, you might, you might want to eat the food if it's about to expire and then get more at the same time so you're prepared. Get some kind of weapons, get a um, firearms license. Or if you already have one, you already have weapons, good. Any kind of weapons are going to be good, but like like I was just explaining, guns are going to be best. Rifles, kind of long distance weapons, you're not going to want to be using them all the time. Because for one, you know, you don't want to just go around shooting people. That's not morally right. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to put any religion on anyone because I'm personally not religious. But I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's not really a good thing to do, to go around shooting people. And also, you're going to be wasting your bullets if you go around doing that. You know, making your own bullets, that is a really good tactic because then you don't have to worry about getting more or running out, you know, as long as you can produce more. But you're going to want to be prepared in food and you want to have good um, financial backing in the form of metals, like I said. Uh, 
Bullion would probably be your best bet, not order U.S. currency since currency already lost all its value. It's just going to be melted down anyway. Like, n no one's going to be caring about if, like, you have a mercury dime that's worth, like, $50,000. It's going to be worth, like, whatever its silver value is. You know, so if you are going to go with constitutional silver, go with junk. You know, some stuff that's not worth anything or buy bullion. You know, um... Even junk bullying would be better also because, like I said, silver is just going to be melted down along with gold. And you're going to be paying more for it than what it's worth over spot price. But you're only going to get maybe spot if you're lucky. You know, I mean, because people are going to want metals. They're going to need them. Copper is also going to be your one of your best bets since copper is so useful, especially because humanity has come to rely on it now so much. Especially over other metals because it's so much cheaper. So copper bullying or just copper in general probably their best buy is order wheat pennies you can get at um or just scrap copper you can get at spot i mean wheat pennies they're just gonna be melted down so you probably don't want to go with that go with order scrap silver or scrap copper or if you are going to get bullion try to get circulated pieces you know circulated rounds or dented up bars that you can get at spot or even better under spot and maybe the dollar won't collapse, but guess what? Even if it doesn't, you're going to have a lot of money from investing in metals. Now, like I said, I'm not going to try to pressure anyone to doing anything, you know, but I'd highly recommend it, especially for an economic collapse. So you definitely want to check that out. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, please like the video and subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you didn't like it, before you drop a dislike, tell me why in the comment section what you think I could have done better, and I will try to improve that. So with that, I'd like to say peace, love, and much respect.